Hey everyone, this is Dr. Walker. This is video 211. It is called Properties of Conductors in Static Equilibrium. Let's start this off with a question. How is this possible? Did you ever hear that being in your car could be the safest place to be if you're in a thunderstorm and you're outside? How is it that you could be safe from a lightning stroke inside a car? So please put your thoughts in the comments below. Take a look and see what it means to be in electrostatic equilibrium. This simply means that there is no net motion of charge. A conductor will naturally achieve static equilibrium. So once your conductor is in equilibrium, let's look at four properties of these conductors. The first one is that the electric field is zero inside the conductor. It's best to think about what would happen if this was not the case. If you had an electric field inside the conductor, then the electric field would cause the charges to move because an electric field causes a charge to experience a force. So if we're in static equilibrium, then we must have zero field inside the conductor. Let's look at the second property. Any excess charge resides entirely on the surface of the conductor. And this is very closely related to the first property. If you had charges not on the surface, well, they would repel each other and they would start moving. So they're going to always end up accumulating on the surface. What's a really cool application of this? The Faraday cage. Faraday cages shield their contents from static electric fields. You may have seen your electronics and there's some kind of little metal liner that protects the components from external fields. Or you may have seen maybe in, in a movie on TV, something like this picture on the left, where you have a Van der Graaff generator, you have the charges flowing from the Van der Graaff generator towards this cage, and this is a Faraday cage, it's just a metal conductor, it's okay if it's not solid, and the charges flow through the cage to the bottom, to the ground, and the person is safe. So this is related to the two properties that we just talked about, that all the charge from the Van der Graaff generator here is going to remain on the surface. There's not going to be any electric field within that conductor. Let's look at a couple more properties. The third one is that the electric field outside the conductor is going to be perpendicular to the surface. Well, if it wasn't perpendicular to the surface, let's say if it was parallel to the surface, then that means that all of these charges would move and the conductor would not be in static equilibrium. So it must be perpendicular to the surface. We're going to revisit this later when we talk about electric potential. The fourth property is that the electric field is strongest at sharp points. And this is because the charge is going to accumulate at the sharp points. On your flat surfaces, the charges can spread out more. So if you have more charges accumulating at the sharp points, then the electric field will be stronger there. Let's take a look at one more application, lightning rods. So lightning is pretty complicated and this is going to be a very simplified explanation. But what happens during lightning is, first of all, you have the charges separating within the clouds with the positive charges accumulating at the top and the negative charges accumulating at the bottom. This causes, on the surface of the Earth, the negative charges to be repelled and it causes you to have a net positive charge on the surface. So now you have a very large electric field here between these negative charges and these positive charges and this is going to cause the charges to move and that's what the lightning is. We see the charges moving. So again, this is a very simplified explanation, but let's consider a lightning rod. So a lightning rod, one theory is that it actually prevents lightning. What happens is that you have a very strong electric field around the lightning rod and this causes the air to be ionized 
this means that the positive and, and negatives separate within the atom. So if the air is ionized, then the charges cannot actually build up on the surface itself, and so it helps to prevent lightning. Now, if lightning does occur, then yes, definitely, the lightning uh, rod does provide a low resistance path for the charges to go through the rod so that the rest of the building remains safe. So that's it for the properties of our conductors in static equilibrium. And I will see you in the next video.